What am I doing? What are these? These are called quotation marks. Quotation marks, okay? They are very common in English punctuation. Okay, do you know anything about English punctuation? Do you know how to use quotation marks? Well, in this lesson, I'm not going to teach you how to use quotation marks. I'm going to teach you what this means. Have you ever seen this? These are called air quotes or finger quotes. Have you ever seen a native English speaker do this suddenly when they're speaking? Suddenly they take their hands like this and they go like this. What does that mean? Okay, well someone recently uh, asked me to make a video on this and they, they asked me, can you make a video on uh, bending the peace sign? And I first I thought, what do they mean, bending the peace sign? Then I realized, oh, that's a great way to describe it because this is the peace sign, right? Peace, peace. So when you bend the peace sign, what they were asking me to make a video on is air quotes. These are called air quotes or finger quotes. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, you just put your fingers out like this and you bend them twice. Okay, just twice. It's really easy. Okay, try it with me. Put your fingers up like this, like this, two fingers on this hand, two fingers on this hand, somewhere near your head, okay? And then just go like this. One, two, okay, just two quick bends. That's it, okay? Now, we do this to highlight a word or a phrase when we're speaking. We do this at the same time we say a word or a phrase in order to highlight that word or phrase. Okay, for example, like this. Oh, right, I'm so rich. Okay, oh, right, I'm so rich. Okay, so that's an example of how we do it. Now, why do we highlight words or phrases? Why would we highlight a word or a phrase when we're speaking? I mean, when you read something, you can see if a word is highlighted, right? But when we're speaking, sometimes uh, you can't really see it. So, so that's why people go like this to, uh, you know, to add the visual component that is missing uh, in speech. We can't see it, so you need to add it like this with some sort of a gesture. Okay, so when would we use, you know, air quotes? Well, I'm gonna give you a situation right now where we would use these air quotes, okay? Let's say your brother has a girlfriend. Her name is Jenny. Okay, so this is Jenny. Now, your brother tells you, Jenny and I are going to the movies tonight. Jenny and I are going to the movies tonight. But you know that they're actually not going to the movies. They are going to drive somewhere in your brother's car and they are going to make out. Do you know what make out means? Make out means to kiss. To kiss for a while, quite passionately. Okay, so that's what making out is. Lots of couples, they drive somewhere in their car and they just make out. So your brother told you, you that they're going to watch, they're going to the cinema to watch a movie, right? You know that they're not. So you could say this, all right, have fun watching the movie, okay? Have fun watching the movie. So you're, you're being sarcastic. You know they're not going to watch the movie. So if you say this, then your brother will know that you know they're not going to watch a movie. <laughs> okay, have fun watching the movie. So see how I'm emphasizing that when I say it? So usually when we use air quotes, we also emphasize the word or the phrase with our speech, with our voice, okay? All right, have fun watching the movie, <laughs> okay? So we sort of make our speech more dramatic. Now, 
this in this situation your brother is or you are being sarcastic right you're being sarcastic with your brother that means you're you're sort of joking around you mean the opposite you're saying one thing but you actually mean something else you're saying have fun watching the movie but you're be you're saying something else okay that's what sarcasm sarcasm is you're saying something seriously but it sort of has a different meaning Okay, so let's take a look at another situation. So Jenny tells her boyfriend uh, that uh, she says, Heather and I are going to the mall. We're not going to buy anything. We're just going to look. Okay, she says, Heather, her friend, Heather and I are going to the mall. Uh, we're, we're not going to buy anything. We're just going to look. Then he says, right. I remember what happened last time when you just went to look. Okay, what does this mean? What is he saying? What is he actually saying here? Well, he's saying that last time she told him this, that she was just going shopping to look, she actually spent a lot of money. She bought a lot of things. She didn't just look, she looked and she bought. So he, he's saying, he's saying he doesn't believe her. He's basically saying, I don't believe you because last time when you said, I'm just going to look, you bought. So that's why he's using these look, right? Look, he's, he's saying you're going to buy things. I don't believe you. You're not going to look. You're going to spend a lot of money. Okay, let's take another situation. Let's say they go to a baseball game, okay? They go to a baseball game and your brother wants to bring some whiskey to the baseball game, okay? He wants to bring some whiskey and drink whiskey while he's watching the game. But you can't bring whiskey into the stadium, okay? The people who work at the stadium, they won't allow you to bring a bottle of whiskey into the stadium. So your brother is smart. He takes the whiskey and he pours it into a can of Coke. And then he goes into the stadium with his can of Coke. And nobody knows it's whiskey. Okay, then, well, they're watching the game. Jenny might say, how's your Coke? Okay, are you enjoying your Coke? Right, because they both know it's not Coke. They both know it's whiskey. But she's just saying this to be to be funny or to be uh, sarcastic. Maybe there are other people around, right? So she doesn't want to say, how's your whiskey? Otherwise, he's going to get in trouble. So how's your Coke? <laughs> okay, that's, that's how we use air quotes in those kinds of situations. Now, recently I made a video on Canadian immigration where I used the word the term white with air quotes. I said something about uh, white people in Canada, okay? I was referring to natural born Canadians or long term Canadians. I didn't know which word to use, so I, I used the word white in air quotes. Now, why did I do that? Well, it's because when most people around the world think of Canadians or Americans, they think of white people. Right? If you ask someone in China or India, what does a Canadian look like? They would probably say white skin. Okay, so I mean, I know that most people or at least many people around the world think of Canadians as white, uh, but I I wanted to, to sort of to say show that this word is not accurate. Okay, it's not an accurate word because actually there are so many natural born Canadians or long term Canadians who have been here for many generations who are not white, right? So I did this to show that this is actually not a great word to use in the situation. I just couldn't think of any other word to use. I mean, what other word is there? I didn't want to say natural born Canadian or long term Canadian. Canadians, these, these terms were too long in that situation. 
So I just went like this white people or white Canadians. Okay, I did it to show that I don't fully agree with this word. You know, I know that if I just said, if I just said, um, you know, white Canadians, then people would attack me in my, in the YouTube video. They would write comments. What, you think all Canadians are white? They're not all white. They're black Canadians. Yes, 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 I know that. That's why I used air quotes, right? I did air quotes. Now nobody can say that I was, you know, being naive and thinking all Canadians are white. I know this is a bad term, but I know that a lot of people around the world think of Canadians as like real, natural, all of those things. That's why I would use air quotes for all those words to save me from getting in trouble, but to still communicate a message, if that makes sense. But hey, I want you to, to try to do, to make an example. Um, can you think of a situation where, where you would use air quotes? I want you to try and post your example down there in the comments with, with some quotation marks, okay? And I'll tell you if you're right or if, if it's wrong, if it doesn't quite make sense. Okay, so let me know what, you, what your answer is down there and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.